Uhuru Dempus explained that the current regional cooperation is only at government levels without any active involvement of civil society. When one studies the structure of SADAC, you hear about heads of state, minister, council of ministers. What about the people? Where are the people's forums? Where are the platforms for stakeholders? There can be no meaningful regional integration without the active and full participation of the mass of our people, the citizens of this region. Despite progress in the growth, Dempsey's equality and poverty are still the major challenges affecting SADC. This Dempsey claim is because government have ignored the recommendations of the civil society actors on poverty eradication measures. Proposals and from civil society and social movements included strong legislation to check on illicit outflows of capital introduction or increase in progressive income tax, especially for the very rich and, and the wealthy. Joining efforts for the introduction of a global wealth tax, a living wage, not a minimum wage, a living wage, a basic income grant, and increased investment in social sectors such as health, education, improvement in basic services. Dempers believe these challenges can only be overcome through radical structure and transformation action involving the citizens. Mayor of the city of Ventuk reiterated that the outcome of the summit will be beneficial to all the SADC citizens at large. And one of the concerns is that in SADC and also in African phenomena, we do have policies, nice grafted policies, but at the end of the day, the hectic problem is that, or the challenging part is that, the implementation. And it's your responsibility as civil society to advocate for the implementation of some of those summit resolutions so that they can benefit our people. Chilana Fuka, NBC News, Venezuela.